be back in a little bit. On uh, that was settled this year, I believe. Uh, Michael Scott, you were the defense attorney for April Cummings. How do you feel this case came out? Well, I was pleased that the jury acquitted her of the principal charge, uh, which was uh, prostitution. I was disappointed, obviously, that the jury convicted her of conspiracy to commit prostitution. I, I think that that either it's either one or both. You can't have not guilty of one and guilty of the other, in my view. We did file a notice of appeal. Although I'm not handling the appeal, uh, there will be counsel appointed for to appeal that issue of whether or not the conviction was lawful. All right. On the, on the Go ahead. I would also like to say that, that the judge, uh, I think the judge showed good sense in reducing the offense from a felony to a misdemeanor uh, based on the fact that uh, if she's acquitted of the prostitution, it didn't seem quite fair since the basis of the conspiracy charge was conspiracy to commit prostitution, that that be a felony. So I think the judge showed good sense in reducing the felony conviction to a misdemeanor. Okay. And uh, on the conviction of conspiracy, what was the thing you think they hinged that on? It's difficult to say since I didn't speak with any of the jurors. I, I believe that the judge, uh, the trial judge, gave an instruction that kind of led them that way by saying that uh, you don't have to actually exchange money, uh, that if it's a business, uh, that you can just the promise of possibly getting something. I disagreed with that, objected to it. I disagreed with the instruction the judge drafted. There's no real law in California on the subject of what is consideration in terms of prostitution. I, so I really don't know what was in the jury's mind. I just think that the jury.